about to have breakfast. We ordered a floating breakfast today because what? It's our one year anniversary. The reason why we're on this trip to, in the first place. Um, one year with this man. So we have a floating breakfast. It looks so good. It looks so good. And it's so good too because today is actually really, really hot. So we're in the water. We just came back from dinner and I just want to shout out this place because their takeaway boxes and packaging is just so good. It's like they even give you like nicely wrapped up cutlery and the serviettes and look at these boxes. So we went to um, Element restaurant at um, Pullman Resorts. This is so good. I love this. I love this. Absolutely love this. Is there anything else I missed? No. So yeah, this is all it looked like. The food was so good. It's just that we tried a bit of everything. So we have leftovers. Not a bit of everything, but a bit of a few things. So we have a couple of leftovers. But just wanted to shout them out because I think this is pretty good for a takeaway package. Never seen this before. So yeah.
TikTok. We have to take picture from here for selfie, for remember, to get all the crowd. Right? This is many many painting, the new painting. I give your time for five minutes, take a loud here, and then after we move to the other side. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is nice though. Hey guys, um, welcome to today in this episode of The City. Oh wow! Uh, we have 10 minutes. We go straight here mm -hmm. and move to right hand side. Okay. And then, like a token, we oh, come back here. Okay. okay. Okay? You can do that. Go this way. I give you for so, Okay. All right. So we're exploring Old Phuket Town. Um, it's a group trip as well. We pretty much booked a lot of our trips um, as as group trips. So we are exploring, and then I'll just be updating you guys on how it's going. But yeah, we're ready. juice there should be some we got these two flavors seaweed and sour cream barbecue was also quite nice
still on the city tour and we're about to have some lunch. We just came from the big Buddha um, statue. Well, it just so happens to be part of the tour, but like, it's not like we'll leave as anything. But we just went to see, I mean, as tourists. Um, very interesting. <laughs> very interesting. But now we're having lunch. Um, and so, yeah. I'm having a mango juice. Looks good though. And then afterwards, we should go to the year three viewpoints where you can see different angles of Phuket. Um, I think they're like one of the highest points or some of the highest points or something like that. So after lunch, that's what we're gonna do. And then we were supposed to go to the beach uh called Nui Beach but it's raining it's been raining the whole day today so he, he was saying that if it continues to rain then we probably won't be able to go to the beach um so I guess we'll see how it goes we're a little bit tired I mean it's not been what five days here and there's been so much going on so we're a little bit exhausted just glad that this is like the last thing we're doing um our flight is tomorrow and it's later on in the day around 4 p.m. so I think most of the morning which is gonna be relaxing to be honest but yeah this is how the trip is going it's been really good I can't complain to be honest although I do have qualms about the second place we're staying at they some few things that I was like mm, I'm still like mm, about um, but yeah I'll update you guys as soon as I've settled down on what it is that's bothering me about the second location other than that, it's been good. It's been really good. I can't complain. It's been really, really good. I feel so blessed. I feel so fortunate to be able to experience this, you know, um, and to tick something off a bucket list, which is good, which is really good. So I'll let you guys know what we do and I'll show you the food I'm going to be having. Um, so yeah. Hey guys, just finished my food. It was unexpectedly so good. I ordered a T-bone and fries. Um, Josh ordered a burger, a cheeseburger. And he was saying it was really good as well. Um, had some chicken satays as a starter. Um, and those were actually really, really nice. So that's when I knew that the food is gonna be good. The food is gonna be good. I got here and I was like, mm, it looks a little dodgy. <laughs> Cause it feels like we're kind of like in a rural, rural area or very rural part. So I was like, this looks dodge, but I was surprised. I was surprised. So I'm gonna like put the name of the restaurant somewhere here or put a video of the name somewhere. But yeah, the food was really good. Um, Josh is just paying the bill and I guess our tour guide is gonna let us know where we're going from here and what we're gonna do. So yeah, so far so good. The food was really good. I'm actually surprised. It was really, really good. I actually ordered a T-bone because I thought it's a safe option. Now I'm like, mm, we should have ordered more food for like dinner or later. But I still have food from last night's dinner for our anniversary that I still need to finish. So probably going to have that for dinner as well. And then maybe add little bits and pieces of other things. But on the food front, we're covered. We're covered. I'm just saying. Uh, 
So, um, our tour guide said that we have time, so we passed by the Tiger Park, and now I'll wait for you here. Yeah, I'm not doing. Yeah, he's doing it alone. <laughs> So um, we're at the Tiger Park because I, our tour guide said we have extra time and this is along the way to where we're going. So Josh is going to do it. I'm just going to take a video because, yeah, it's not for me. Eh? It's not for me. This is me living vicariously through Josh because that is scary. There he is there. That's scary. There he is there. Ah, it could never be me. <laughs> could never be me. The tigers look so calm though. Like they look so, so calm. I guess that's a good thing. I don't know my life. I don't know
such a hidden gem. The one we went through to get here. It is. Do you want him to do more? No. <laughs> right? It's such a fun experience. How good does that feel? in there and I'm just like piling them up in the bag and I've sorted out all my um, bits and pieces accessories so these are things I never got to wear um, it's all clean and then accessories in there my backpack and then some of my sandals which I'm putting inside my bag and then a coat for when we get to Melbourne and then everything else is packed in there um, underwear and lingerie as well as my dukes and my sleeping bonnets and then that one will be my toiletry bag which i need to pack up after i take a shower so yeah that's pretty much how it's going it's much faster than when we we're packing to come here so Mm. So glad we're going home. 